I've watched a media all my life that didn't make sense to me. I didn't understand it when I was a kid. It was just CTV, CBC, when I first was growing up, Global came in. And then we got cable and then all the American channels. But the news at six o'clock was this strange rendition of somebody in a suit sitting very stiff, speaking about things that didn't mean much to me as a kid. And they don't mean much to me now as an adult because I have no trust in them anymore. I know who they are, what they represent and why they do what they do. And so it's like noise. But every once in a while you look at the noise, you go, what noise are they putting forth this time? And it hurts to actually be in front of the television. The advertisements are for idiots. Advertising is for idiots. And then I see how they report on the stories, what they leave in, what they leave out, how they have no context, where it builds the underlying games they're playing. And now we're in a world where we can create our own media. We are our own media. The world has changed in spite of them. But that doesn't necessarily mean for the better. There's the opportunity, there's the potential to create a media that is our own. But so often we leave things in the hands of others. So often we, we let the masses or the governments or the corporations or whoever create the infrastructure that we use to live our lives. And now if you look at the infotech that is available, there's so many different ways to create media on the net. And everyone is using different ways. And so why don't we, as a collective, develop a set of protocols and develop an ongoing infotech media system that just gets better and better and better and integrates certain parts of the infotech together by people who know what they're doing and who can teach the rest of us who aren't as tech savvy to participate in a larger collective, in a larger hive, in a manner that's quite different that is being done right now. Right now, most of us are individuals popping little messages and likes and whatevers and groups, but we don't really connect to them. We don't know them. There may be 50,000 people in that group. How do you get to know 50,000 people? You can know about 150 people. And so the share knowledge community idea has 144 people with a boundary and everyone in that community is looking to help everyone in that community. At least everyone in that community is sharing the same infotech. Everyone in that community is sharing the same cognitive maps that are used to organize the infotech as well as our minds together. So we have a flow of information between the people. That is a good one. That we take control of the artificial intelligence that's being developed, that we take control of our own economic matters and we build a cell that then can replicate, that then can spread across the planet like a positive thought virus and create an alternative system to what is there now. If you don't know it by now, usury is why we are in all the problems we are in. Interest on interest cannot be paid back. There's a mathematical improbability to it, which destroys countries. There's a state bank versus a central bank. The state bank is run by the actual government and doesn't charge interest on itself. The central bank charges interest to the governments and that's why they have control over everything on the planet through this system. If you don't know that, you've got to know that because that is one of the biggest problems we're facing on this world. And so you have to get to the foundation. You have to get to the underlying understanding as to why we are in the situation we are in right now 
and then to stop the division between all the different pieces, the left versus the right, the male versus the female, all of the polarities are unwinnable battles. They're, they, they tap into something in our mind that creates this us versus them, that right now we don't need right now. The us is the people and the them are the governments. That's what's going on right now. And the governments are acting like parasites and have gone cross, they've crossed the line in terms of how much control they have in our lives and what they're doing. And the people who are being paid because they're in the government and they're being paid by the government are the lackeys and the stooges that are only there because of the money. While the rest of us, the people, are just trying to make a living but finding it increasingly difficult to do so. So we have to adopt a new philosophy. We have to understand what we're dealing with. And we have to have a solution. This isn't about war. This is about building a peaceful world for our species. We are going through a transformation and there's a power struggle. And that old paradigm is slipping away because it is based upon illusion and it is based upon a few controlling the many and making the many's lives as bad as they can so they don't deal with who's doing it. And that has to end. So Planetary Guardians is a media organization and a game where you do so. You learn how to think differently and you learn how to build a shared knowledge community in your world or your town or your community. And we link them all together, 144,000 of us, to create a whole new economic system. If you're interested, contact me. And uh, if you're not, and you're just watching, defriend me, please. I, I, I don't want window watchers. I want people participating or people who have no interest just saying, screw off, do your thing. There's no in-betweens right now. You're either part of the problem or you're part of the solution.